What up, what up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors? It's Sergeant Crypto back at it again. And today we're going to be talking about Telcoin. Prepare for a crypto mooning. I don't know if it's going to moon, but I believe in what they're representing and I believe in what they're trying to accomplish. All right. So Telcoin, it's an ERC20 token built on the Ethereum blockchain. But before we get into Telcoin and what they're going to do, let me say thank you to, to everyone watching and thank you for my subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. And also please take the time out to hit that thumbs up as a like does help the channel to grow. All right, so let's get into it. So Telcoin, actually, let me look at the market real quick. So let's look at the gainers. Right now, the market cap is $541 billion and the 24-hour volume is $28.9 billion with a Bitcoin dominance of 34.4%. These are the major gainers today. And if we go back real quick to all the coins, go real quick, here it is. It's a mixed market today. We have red, green all throughout the market. You know, it's basically trading sideways. It's not taking off and it's not, you know, um, bleeding to death either so we're, we're, we're trading sideways pretty much throughout the whole market so let's get back to telcoin and they are currently being traded on qcoin ether delta and idex i picked these up last night on qcoin for 59 satoshis right now so it's up you know you know uh 18 or so and let's look at the chart they were just recently listed I just found found them last night. They just came out of their ICO recently, so you know they've just recently been listed on here on Coin Market Cap. The beginning of this week, Monday. Today is Friday, by the way, Friday, January twenty uh, twenty six. So we see that you know we we have some good movement right here and some good volume too. All right, we have a five million dollar volume, and the market cap right now is one hundred fifty one billion or a million. I'm sorry. Whoa. Yeah, I'm bugging. 151 million. And the total supply of Tel coins, 100 billion coins. And right now circulating, they have 20.9 billion circulating Tel coins. So let's go back to the website. So one of the problems that they are currently working on or that they, they, they have partnerships right now with telecom cell phone companies they they have partnerships they, they're not allowed to announce them yet they're going to be announcing them towards the end of the first quarter and the beginning of the second quarter of this year all right so around march time frame or so march april time frame or so so again they're trying to solve remittance the remittance problem or to send send money via western union or moneygram and a lot of people in third world countries, all right, countries in the continent of Africa or countries in, you know, in Asia, in rural areas, they're not, it's not easily or readily accessible for them to, to go to a Western Union if they live in rural, rural areas. They have to maybe take a, a whole day to travel to the cities um, to get money from family mem members that are overseas, all right? So... But the one thing that everyone do have, all right, not everyone, but most people do have around the world is a mobile phone. And I'm not talking about a smartphone. I'm talking about just a regular mobile phone. There are over 5 billion mobile phones worldwide. A lot of these people in these third world countries have access to mobile phones. Telcoin, what they're doing is partnering with mobile companies to be able to send the telcoin this cryptocurrency via a text message and not having to have an app on a smartphone so again a lot of people around the world don't have smartphones they have mobile phones just you know your regular old flip phones what they're going to do is they're going to to to, to allow people to send money see here it is you know, if I send money through Western Union to a family member, all right, overseas somewhere, all right, they're, you know, if I send a thousand dollars, you know, Western Union is going to take $65 out of it. 
while Telcoin via a text, I'll just send it to you. Boom, you'll get it instantly and the, the fees aren't as high. Also, again, you don't have to, to have an app. And a, a lot of these people in these third world countries are either underbanked or they have no bank. You know, they're underbanked, meaning, you know, if they have access to a bank, again, it's, it's a day's travel to, to go to the bank to get money. Do business or to be able to have funds, you know, they have their mobile phone. Boom, a family member could just send them this cryptocurrency and, you know, they'll be able to use it wherever they are because everyone around them have mobile phones, all right? And say for instance, you know, I'm sending money to some family member in Jamaica, I send it to them through the Telcoin app, not the app, I keep saying app, I'm so used to using apps, but I send it to them, all right? They don't have Telcoin set up on their mobile phone yet. What will happen is they'll receive the text and it will, take them through, through how to set up Telcoin on their mobile phone to, to receive the funds. So it's solving a real problem, a real world issue they're trying to solve right now. And they, and like I said in the beginning, they have partnerships right now with mobile phone companies in Southeast Asia and also in Northern Africa. All right, so here I'm gonna just take take you to a map real quick. So they have right now partnerships with um, telecoms in this part of Europe here, right through Spain and Portugal, and some of those telecoms are also being you know they they own other cell phone companies within the the northern African region. So you know Morocco, Algeria, T Tunisia, Libya. All right. So a lot of North Africans, they go to Europe for work and they send money back home to their families. So if they're able to send it through just a text, imagine how much like the, the ease it will be. It will be so much easier for their family members to, to get funds and to be able to, to live basically, man. All right. And it's the same thing in Southeast Asia. All right. They have right now partnerships again with companies telecom companies in Malaysia Vietnam all right in the Philippines so they they have these partnerships already and they have the coin right now the coin like I said just hit the market and they already have these partnerships I think this is a great coin because it's solving a real world problem and that was the point of cryptocurrencies in the first place was to you know, pretty much help cut the middleman out, to cut the banks out, to cut out these third parties like, you know, Bank of America. I'm giving them as an example because they want to charge now uh, a $12 fee if you don't have X amount of money in your checking account. If you're in a third world country, you're not going to have you know, a $1,000 to just hold in the checking account because you need that money right now to put food on the table, you know? So there are, these people aren't represented by the banks. So because they're not represented by the banks, guess what? They can, because they have mobile phones, they can too take part in society by, you know, using these cryptocurrencies, all right? And the cryptocurrency I'm talking about, again, is Telcoin. And like I said, you know, here it is, you know, there's a $500 billion market, you know, 5 billion people, you know, with phones. All right. So they, they're solving a, a real issue right now, a very, very real issue they're solving. And this is the team right here, the Telcoin uh, tel team. Uh, this is the CEO. He was, uh, he's an advisor to 10X. He's this guy here, uh, founded Mobius and he, he sold it. So, you know, he's the co-founder. Um, stupid computer is running really slow. I'm sorry, guys. And, you know, you could come here to the website, look at the team. Like, I checked them out. These, these guys, they, they pretty much have, an, you know, an all-star team, man. You know, uh, a blockchain researcher. We have, you know, 12, 20 years of telco consulting for Nokia and SoftBank. 
So the, these people are people that are already already in the industry, all right? And, you know, they're helping to, to grow the company and they are the ones that are facilitating the partnerships that te Telcoin already have and they're about to announce at, at the end of the first quarter or the beginning of the second quarter of this year. You know, the, the advisors, again, all, all stars again, all right? We go to the white paper real quick. This is a 50-page white paper. I skimmed through it a little bit. And, you know, it's pretty much, you know, talking about, again, they'll be solving that, that problem of the underbank and, you know, being able to send money from one place to the next at a very low cost, all through your mobile phone, all right? And, again, we're not talking about smartphones. So this is why I think that it will moon, all right? This, this is why I think it will moon. Once it gets caught on, all right, once they're actually using it and they could prove that it works, all right, guess what? It's, this thing, it will take off. It will take off. Uh, again, this is not financial advice, but you know, th these are just my opinions and what I think based on information that I have right now. All right, so I think, you know, Telcoin, it, you know, it's definitely solving the problem. It's going to be helping, you know, millions of people worldwide and gives us an opportunity to invest in a company and a cryptocurrency that is going to solve a real issue. So this is your boy, Sergeant Crypto. Let's start a discussion below. Let me know what you guys think about Telcoin and the problems that they're trying to solve. And if this is something that you'll be adding to your portfolio, I know I will. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.